फॉर एग्जाम्पल आर वन इज हेयर आर टू आर थ्री आर फोर इफ यू अप्लाई सम प्रोटोकॉल और वी आई अप्लाइंग सम मॉडिफिकेशन ऑन दीज थ्री राउटर सो वी नीड टू गिव वन बाय वन ऑन दीज ऑल राउटर बट बाय द टेल नेट वी टेक रिमोटली एक्सेस ऑफ दीज ऑल थ्री राउटर ऑन आर वन एंड वी कैन अप्लाई और मॉडिफाई एनी प्रोटोकॉल फ्रॉम द आर वन टू आर टू आर थ्री एंड आर थ्री आर फोर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द प्रैक्टिकल नाउ आई एम यूजिंग टू राउटर हियर दिस इज आर आर वन This is our R two. I'm taking a telnet or remote access of R two in R one. So we need to add a cable in between. The first thing for telneting, we need to configure the IP address of these interfaces. Just open your R one. <coughs> I'm changing the host name to R1. I'm giving an IP address that is 10.0.0.0.1. No shutting this particular interface. Now go to the next router. That is this this router. Go to enable mode, configuration mode. Now I'm changing the host name R2. IP address is ten dot zero dot zero dot two. My IP address is. Now no shut. Now, now I'm I want to access R two on my R one router. So we need to configure R one as a telnet. First, go to your configuration mode and type these commands for enabling telnet on R two. The first command is. Line VTY zero to fifteen. By this, I am entering in line mode. Actually, router have a router or switch also have fifteen zero to fifteen total sixteen line VTYs. Now I'm entering this line mode. Then type password. password for telnet i am using ccna as a password just press enter and now type the third command that is login this is it for enabling telnet i am enabling telnet via these commands just go to r1 and try to connect with r2 for connecting Why telnet? I am using this command. The command is telnet, and the destination address that is ten dot zero dot zero dot two. Press enter. You need to go enable mode and type this command telnet ten dot zero dot zero dot two. User access verification the password, and I am putting password as C C N A. Just type C C N A and press enter. You you did not see here the password, but you need to just type and press enter. Now you can see I am accessing R two here. This is my R one. You can see this is my R one, and I am accessing R two here. 
Now I'm I want to go in enable mode. Press enter. This is the problem for going enable mode. No password set. It means we do not use ten let or we do not use destinations enable mode until we do not configure enable password on the destination. So we need to give enable password here. The destination. So just go to your configuration mode. Give enable password, or you can use secret also. I am using enable password. The password is one two three four five six. Press enter. Now take the telnet again. Go to enable mode. Now it is required for the password one two three four five six. Press enter. Now I can access the enable mode configuration mode. And now I can change the host name or any other command. I can modify any protocol. I can apply any protocol. Here I am changing the host name as a C C N A. Now you can check here. Go to R two and here you can see your host name changed. By this you can check. or you can access remotely access via telnet this is a command for taking telnet of any router or switch you can apply these commands on switch also now then another command related to telnet is if you want to disconnect this telnet just press exit by pressing exit like this again i am using exit now you can check r1 is accessible now if you want to again telnetting the r2 just press just press give the command telnet and the id of the destination the password This password is for telnet password C C N A. Now go to enable mode. This password is enable password one two three four five six. Enable password of destination one two three four five six. Press enter. Just go to exit. Now the next command related to telnet that is show users. this is on zero means this is the user right now no one no user is active on the telnet if a user is activating activate the telnet or using or taking a access via, via telnet then the entry is here for that particular host or particular dev telnet user the next command is show session how many sessions are currently running no connections open it means there are no connection of currently open on this router you can use the same command show session no connection open because we are currently not using telnet service we exit the telnet services this is how and this is the process of taking the remote access of any router or switch via telnet 